Hello everybody! Noel from Scratch Genius here. Today I am back with episode 2 and the last episode on how to make an 100% pen thumbstick in Scratch. Today we're going to be actually making the thumbstick, making it so it has an output that way we can use it to control a character, as well as making it so if you click outside of the thumbstick boundaries, well then it won't activate it. That way you can interact with buttons and UI without making the character move. I hope you all enjoy this video and let's get right into it. Do keep in mind that this is an advanced tutorial. It would be extremely helpful if you know a little bit of trigonometry as well as Pythagoras theorem. That way you can better understand how it works. So here we are how we left it off before. And the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and make another block and call it something like make thumbstick. Now I'm going to also make it run without screen refresh. I'm then going to drag the definition somewhere over here. Then I am going to create two more variables. One is going to be the distance to the mouse. And then the next one is going to be the direction of the mouse. We can also go ahead and hide them. Then at the beginning of the make thumbstick, I'm going to drag in two set blocks. I'm going to set one to direction of mouse and the other one to the distance to mouse. First of all, I'm going to start with making the direction of mouse. I'm going to start off by dragging in a plus block as well as a eight hand block. Then I'm going to do a division and then drag in two minuses. In the first slot of the first minus, I'm going to put in thumbstick x minus mouse x. And then I'm going to do the same thing, but for the y. So thumbstick y minus mouse y. Then I'm going to go and drag in a multiplication block and then a less than block. We can go ahead and duplicate thumbstick y minus mouse y and put it in the first slot of the less than block. So if thumbstick y minus mouse y is less than zero, well then we're going to multiply that by 180. Why we're doing this is because if this is true, well then it is going to output one. Its value is going to be one. So if it is true, it is going to add 180 to this. Then we're going to drag all of this into the direction of mouse. If you want to learn more about this function and how it works, well then you can go over and check out my other video, which I will have linked at the top right corner over here. Now for the distance to mouse function, we're going to do the Pythagoras theorem. First of all, I'm going to drag in a square root then an addition, two multiplications in each of the addition slots, and then I'm going to go and duplicate the thumbstick x minus mouse x and the thumbstick y minus mouse y. I'm going to drag them into the first slots of the multiplication, and then I'm going to duplicate them again and drag them into the second slot. I'm then going to drag it into the distance to mouse. Now before we move on, let me introduce you to a new function. The min function. This is going to return the smallest of these two numbers. So our first number we have to put here and here, and our second number we have to put here and here. Now if we run and check the value of this block, it's going to return 1, since 1 is the smallest of these two numbers. If we put in different numbers, let's say 6 and 4, then if we run this, when it was, it's going to return 4. Really, really cool. And we're going to be using this instead of an if block to make it more compact and hopefully even make it run better. So I'm going to drag this up here to save it for later, and then go ahead to motion and drag in a go to block. I'm going to drag in a plus. Then a uh, multiplication, and then this block over here, which we can switch over to sign. Then over here, we're going to put the direction of mouse. We're going to multiply it by the max function. And then the first value is going to be thumbstick radius. 
and the second value is going to be our distance to mouse. You can go over and duplicate this whole thing and do the same thing for the y. Except that we have to switch this to cosine and instead of thumbstick x, we're going to add thumbstick y. I'm going to set the pen color to some grayish color. Set the pen size to something like 50. And then go pen down and then pen up. I'm going to quickly move this up a little bit more. And then I'm going to pretty much duplicate this. But this time set the pen color to something like black. Set the pen size to 40. And then before we press play, of course we need to go over and drag in the make thumbstick. And I'm very sorry, one more thing before we test it out, I actually made a mistake. You have to switch around these two over here. So put the mouse Y in the first slot and then the second slot put the thumbstick Y. And now if we press play, you can see that the thumbstick is always going in the direction of my mouse. And if I put my mouse inside of the barrier, you can see it goes to the position of my mouse. Really, really cool. Now, which is probably one of the first things we want to do next, is make it so that it only really draws a thumbstick if I am clicking my mouse. So for that, I'm going to simply go over and then go if mouse down, well, I'm going to draw the thumbstick. So now only if I put my mouse down and only if I click it, when well, it is going to show the thumbstick. Now, while that is pretty cool, we do want it so we can interact with buttons and UI without having to make the character move every time we click. So to fix that, I'm simply going to drag this out of this loop and make a brand new loop. And instead of doing an if, we're going to do an if else. And instead of simply dragging in the mouse down, we're going to drag in an AND. In the first slot, we're going to put the mouse down. And in the second slot, I'm going to drag in a less than. And we can duplicate this distance to mouse over here by right clicking and click duplicate and drag it in the first slot. So if the thumbstick's distance to the mouse is less than the thumbstick radius, that means that we've clicked inside of the border of the thumbstick. So then we're going to repeat in total we are not mouse down. And now we can go and drag in the make thumbstick inside of the repeat and toad block. And then in the else, we're going to wait until not mouse down. Now, if we go ahead and test this, well, you should see that we can click anywhere on the screen, but inside of the borders and nothing should happen. But if we click inside of the thumbstick border, well, then you should see that it should activate. Very, very awesome. The next thing you probably want to do is fix this line over here that you can see. It's kind of annoying. So to fix this, we simply have to go to pen and pen up after drawing the circle. Now, if we test this, you should see that the line disappears. Yay, now it actually looks like a thumbstick. Another thing you probably want to fix before we start moving on is this problem. If the difference in Y's of our mouse and the thumbstick is exactly zero, when you can see it slightly teleports over to the other side. It's not a big deal, but it's a problem. So to fix this, all we have to do is go over to the direction of mouse function and take away this part and simply add if the difference in Y equals zero, well, I'm going to multiply that by 180, just like we did over here, and drag that into the other plus. So now if we put that in there. So now if we test this, you should see that if the difference in y is zero, it still remains the same and it doesn't teleport over to the other side. Now with all of the bugs fixed, we should do the last thing that we should do before we end the series. Make an output so we can actually use the value of the thumbstick for controlling characters. First of all, I'm going to go over to variables and create two variables. Output x and output y. Then after going to this position, 
I'm simply going to set the output X and the output Y. The output X is going to be the sign of the direction of mouse, and the output Y is going to be the cosine of the direction of mouse. Now I'm going to quickly create a character, so I'm going to go and paint a new sprite and make it a simple black circle. Then I'm going to go over to code and make it so that when the green flag is clicked forever, I'm going to change x by and change y by a multiplication. I'm going to simply multiply output x and output y by the speed. So I would say, for example, 4. So now if we test this, you should see that we can control a character with our thumbstick. But then there's a pretty big problem. If we let go of the thumbstick, it keeps on going. Now to e easily fix this, we simply have to go back to our thumbstick and make it so that before waiting into not mouse down, it sets so output x and output y to 0. So now if we test it, you should see that we can control our character, and when we let go of the thumbstick, it will stop moving. Amazing! And that's it for how to make an 100% pen thumbstick in Scratch. I hope you enjoyed this series, and I hope you'll find this really helpful in your future pen mobile games. As always, if you like this video, don't forget to like. If you have any suggestions or ideas for future content, don't forget to post them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome tutorials. Have fun, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.